Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of my 100 days multiplayer series. If you haven't seen the first two videos, I would definitely go recommend to check that out or else this video won't really make sense. So I'll leave a link to both of those in the description below. And I would also just like to mention really quick that Optifine for 1.19 has not released yet. So sorry, we will not be seeing shaders in this episode. Well, let's move on from that quick intro and just drop straight into the video. Hope you guys enjoy. So on day 51, I traveled into the nether and gathered some soul sand since one of my friends needed them and we also will probably be using these for future builds as well. Uh, we can just, I'll just put a door. Oh yeah, or you could have signs. Signs or doors. That would work. Oh yeah, signs. It's just the signs. Yo, this thing is sick. It goes so fast. Wait, can you go up to the entire way with one breath? Yes. Wait, do your bubbles not disappear when you're going up the elevator? My bubbles aren't changing. That's weird. But then if I sit inside like normal water, it does decrease. Yeah, because the bubbles are water. The bubbles are like... air. Alright? Yeah. Is that what it yeah. is? Yeah. That's crazy. That was, I swear That's that was like... not a thing before. I thought it was a glitch at first, bro. This is sick. And I also spent that day working more on that cow barn because I kind of forgot about it, I'm going to be honest. Because our current big pen is honestly more efficient and it's working out better. This is just kind of one of those like decorative things. They're just going to look nice in the world. On day 52, I traveled down into the villager prison and I found out that one of our babies actually grew up because it has been a long time since I visited these guys. I gave them a bit more food and hopefully they can breed again because I do have four beds in here. Alright, um, now I just need to make a grindstone. That's what I was going to do, I forgot. Alright, so craft a grindstone. Let's bring this down to the villager. Alright, now that he's a weaponsmith, we should be able to get diamond swords, diamond axes, all that kind of good stuff. In the meantime, though, my inventory is going to be full with these iron axes. And from days 52 to 53, I continued expanding the villager area because this is going to be the main way we're going to progress and get diamond tools and diamond stuff. Unfortunately, one of the people on the server are going to have to leave in two days from when we recorded this. So that's kind of why we've been rushing to kill the energy dragon so he's not left out, you know. I also built a dedicated farm for our potatoes and carrots since we were pretty much running out and I really needed them for villagers. Without this food, our villagers are going to starve and they will not make babies, man. Yeah, um, I made a separate farm, I don't know if you guys saw, for all of, like, for our carrots and potatoes and stuff. Yeah. So, it, it's, like, connected to the wheat farm. I'm just going to bone meal it all up. Yeah, actually, I actually have, like, a project idea right now, bro. Want to tell us what it is? Oh, uh, you'll see, you'll see. <laughs> Alright, I, I like see. that, it's a surprise. <laughs> you'll find out, bro. Bro, uh, golden shovels last for like 10 seconds, bro. Golden Golly. shovels? No, golden shovels, bro. Wait, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> Why would you use a golden shovel? It formed like 10 <laughs> On day 54, I started gathering some materials, mainly just spruce wood, for this new villager trading place. I wanted to build an actual designated trading hall. We're past day 50, and these guys are still living in a dirt hole, man. We can't have these guys in these terrible conditions. It just feels so wrong. It'll look so much better and also be more accessible and just more easy to access. So I'm trying to pick a place for this villager pen thing. I think I'm going to do it behind the house in this area over here. It kind of has a perfect place and it's decently flat. I'm just going to have to clear out this tiny little mound over here. Once I cleared out a more flatter ground, I continued building into the sunset, and I wanted to go for more of like a rustic feel, kind of similar to our house, using mainly just spruce wood. Should provide a little bit of contrast from the light color of the oak in our actual house, but I'm going to be using a lot of these trap doors because I really like how they look as walls. And I continued on to day 55, building out the flooring. I'm going to do like a pattern of stone bricks as well as just normal smooth stone. I think it gives it kind of like a scattered look. It's, it's alright. Alright, let's check out these villagers here. Okay, yeah, we do have one more baby, that's perfect. And, uh, I came here just to trade some more emeralds, to be honest. I forgot I had a ton of glass panes in my inventory from, like, a while ago. I have no idea how I'm gonna make this villager thing, dude. I'm trying to- uh, I kinda forgot how I used to make them. Alright, I think I have the villager place set up, I just have to move them now, which is gonna be annoying. Bro, it's literally- Wait, jeez, you expanded whole... this thing so much. Man literally made it the complete perimeter of, like, Everything, bro. Oh my goodness. Oh, we're not getting enough paper, so I was like, this. Wait, bro, we have an iron golem, dude. Wait, an iron golem spawned in, bro. This is crazy. Wait, 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 wait. Right here, right here. Yo, yo, wait, 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 wait. Can we, can we make a thing? An iron farm? Uh, well, you're, you're gonna need three, I think like three separate villagers, though. So we're gonna have to keep on breeding a lot of villagers. Yeah, I'm killing it. Alright, well, I got the fletching tables. Holy, there's a lot of villagers in here. I think I might have to expand it even more, honestly. Two fletching tables. Now we got two dudes that trade sticks. <laughs> it's not a church. <laughs> bro, man, yo, Davis, come here, bro. He make a church. Yeah, I know. I've Wait, what is this? What is this giving? Is that a cross? Bruh. Is that a cross up there? Cross. It looks like a cross. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a cross. Don't Can I change it, bro? Don't bro. Do you think, like, people actually think that's a cross? No, no, no. I don't think, I think it's fine. It's fine. It looks like a chimney, kind of. Like a 2D chimney. It's not thick, but... Wait, is this a, is this a greenhouse, bro? No. No, no. 
This cool. this looks like a greenhouse design, bro. Like have plants growing and stuff in here, and then like a glass roof. Okay, what the have, like different levels to it. Like, yeah, that, yeah, that'd be sweet. That'd be sweet for real. Oh, see, I was gonna. I now y'all give me a good idea, but like I can't do that now. Cause I... Yo, can I have some food? Okay, this kid actually <laughs> at church. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that actually looks kind of fire, bro. Yeah, it looks kind of fire. Hard, bro. It's fire. He goes hard. He goes hard. It's fire, bro. On day 57, I started building the underground railroad system that I was going to use to carry these villagers to their new home. Now this is going to be one of the most annoying parts, moving villagers through minecarts, man, it gives me a headache. I just continued working on villagers for the next couple of days, trying to push these guys through, but they just wouldn't budge, man. Why are you bullying me? Come on, come on, let's see this dude up here. Now this should work if it all goes well. Yep, he turned into the armor villager. Now if we just walk inside really quick. Uh, I gotta figure out how to break his minecart actually. If I break this piece of dirt, yeah, there we go, it should work. Then break his minecart and there we go, he stays in there. Now I just gotta do this like 10 more times, yes sir. Where's the baby at? I pushed it through the other guy. Oh, oh shoot, he's going, he's running back. No, come back, where are you going? Where are you going? Chill. They're so goofy sometimes, bro. They, they, they be rebellious, bro. Also, Revel, I got two lectern vill villagers down in there if you want to take a look. Oh, wait, do I do it now? Should I do it? Uh, yeah, you can, but hold on. Yeah, yeah, th Would there's dirt blocks, so if you break the thing, they can't run out. What am I looking for? I mean, mending, unbreaking three, that kind of stuff. Those are like the universal enchants that, like, all, all tools and weapons would need. So on day 60, I kind of just sat here and worked with this librarian cycling its trades, hoping to get something good. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this, but we do have a fire aspect 2 librarian right there, which could be nice because my friends have been using a lot of experience trying to get fire aspect on their sword and they've been failing. I really don't know what I'm looking for, probably just mending or unbreaking. It took a while, but I eventually did get mending, so that's great. I gotta make sure that I lock the trade before I leave, because one time I didn't lock it and he ended up losing it. You killed two. He Man killed like all of the skeleton horses when they disappeared, bro, it's sad. But it's kinda cool, we can make like a pen from. And since our trading hall was kind of getting packed up, I had to extend it out. This thing is coming together pretty nicely though, we got a lot of work done here today. Fire protection bro, I should have I, I should have stayed when I first saw it, bro. I, I, need the, I need the diamond armor, bro. No! Let's go, finally. I'm pretty sure if we all buy boots and leggings, it should upgrade it to the next level. Alright, yes sir. Depth strider, fire protection, it's kind of bad, but I mean, we could use this armor to like enchant it in the enchantment table anyway. Finally, I have diamond armor. It's day like 62 or 63, I actually forgot what day it was. And I continued trading on that day just to get more emeralds because I heard from one of my fellow friends that the villager has unlocked the chestplate and helmet trade. I ran over to the trading hall as fast as possible and was able to count myself a full diamond set. Although all my emeralds were gone, I was looking pretty awesome with this full enchanted diamond armor. We are getting one step closer to being able to fight the ender dragon. And on day 62, I took a well-deserved break on getting those villagers ready and decided to do a little bit of enchanting since I had 36 levels. I ended up getting fire protection 4 two times though and it's an unbreaking 3, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, I did not end up getting anything really good from all this. Gotta grind some more levels. This, this is, is not okay. This needs to stop now. Sasa, Sasa. Where is it? Where is it? I threw one. I threw one. I threw one. I threw one. No, you didn't. Look at these kids trying to get these emeralds. Oh, I got one. Nah, they are hungry, bro. They for real hungry. Let's start. Yo, yo, keep, keep going, bro. Yo, dude. Oh my God, bro. Mr. Beast type beat, yes sir. I'm kind of crazy, bro. Let's go. Oh, who got that? No way you got that one, bro. What? I saw Davis. Davis was on that one first. No, I'm actually out. I'm actually out. That was it. That was, that was kind of entertaining. I only got five, man. I dropped I 18, bro. I got... How did I get eight? <laughs> I came back with some more levels, hoping to get a better enchant on my diamond chest plate. I saw Unbreaking 3 two times again, and when I enchanted it, I ended up getting Blast Protection 4 two times in a row instead of Fire Protection. I guess the Minecraft gods did listen to me, but come on. I don't want this, man. I then bought a bow from one of the Fletchers and decided to trade it and this time on my first time I was able to get Unbreaking 3 Power 3. So much more lucky than my armor that should be good enough for the Ender Dragon fight. I then fixed this one part in our house. We used to have like a really long hallway here that was just bland and boring. I decided to make a wall of paintings and a secret entrance into our bedroom. I think it looks cooler and it just it's a fun way to enter the bedroom you know. And we could also include like some decorations like maybe some bookshelves, armor stands in this other room as well. 
Oh, and also, I guess I haven't really given a proper introduction to this build. Providentia actually started creating this a couple days ago, and he wasn't exactly sure what it was going to be. He kind of just let his creativity flow a bit and just started building a random structure. At first, I thought it was going to be a greenhouse. Personally, I think it could have turned into a really cool greenhouse, but let's see what he does with this. So currently, the boys have just been grinding out levels and also grinding out enchants because we are trying to get ready for the dragon fight, so they want to get the best gear they can. In the meantime, I've been continuing work on the villager training hall, finally building a roof on it, so no zombies can get it in turn these guys into zombie villagers. I decided to go for like a pointy straight roof that I used to do in a lot of my older builds. It really gives it a cool medieval like churchy kind of type look. This is probably one of my favorite roof designs to use. Now here's what the trading halls looks like with the front skeleton bit completed. We also got that special hole right there. I think it's probably going to be like a window of some sort. And I also changed the sides completely. Instead of just making it normal planks, I kind of had the stairs and trapdoors. And inside here, it looks kind of boring right now, but I might end up decorating it a little bit more. Maybe add some plants and all that stuff and finish up the end wall. What's up, Rebel? Yeah, we have two, we have two uh, unused villagers here, so I make one to clear it because we need the... We need Ender Pearls. Oh, it's a redstone dust trade for the first level. That's good. I thought it was going to be like rotten. I thought you had to do rotten flesh. One emerald for one lapis, two gold ingots for one emerald. That's not, that's not terrible. I'm going to... Oh, I don't have em emeralds left, bro. Yo, somebody somebody that has emeralds, come trade with the cleric real quick because we need to get the ender pool trade so we can... Wait, Davis, we might have to kill this villager because uh, he does not have the he does not have the ender pearl trade. It's like it's like a 50-50 chance, and he didn't get it, so we're gonna have to kill him. Hopefully, if I kill him this way, the other villagers won't get mad. Will this will this work? I wanna see. I'm trying to drown the villager. I'm dying. Help me. Yo, I'm sorry about this, man. I'm actually drowning him right now. Oh, he's actually dying. His other friend is watching him, bro. Hopefully, this does not ruin my reputation for him. The only reason I did this is because I think like if you actually like kill the villagers yourselves, the other villagers will see you and get mad or something, and then they'll like reduce their yeah, trades. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, gotta gotta make it smart. Oh, and his friend that watched him die has turned into the new cleric, so that works, I guess. That's that's not a friend, bro. That's an op. Right <laughs> for real, bro. He that watched him die and just took over his job, bro. Nah, he was waiting, bro. He was waiting. That's Take literally an op. I don't know what you mean, friend. That's literally an op. So I was told that our new cleric villager actually does have the enderpearl trade. So I'm gonna check it out. Let me see how much this thing costs. Cause we're gonna probably have to buy like 20 or so of these. Yeah, four emeralds. What's the math here? I don't, I don't know how to do math. I don't know, like 80 emeralds? That's gonna be a lot. In the middle of our emerald grinding, waiting for the villager trace to reset, we traveled over to the nether fortress in search for more blaze powder to make those sweet eyes of ender. It was so much easier now because I actually had a bow this time. I don't know why I didn't bring a bow last time I went here. Why just grow up in front of my face? Man, they just grew up when I was looking at him. No, get back in. Why, why are they in the, the underground rubble? They should not be there. Come on, guys. Come back in your house. Oh, now this kid's running too. Wait, so I think if you walk by it... Wait, come here. Watch, watch this. I think if you walk by it, like, it turns into like a bunch of stuff. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's crazy. All right, here. Okay, how are we going to do this? Wait, wait. How do you how do you kill the guy on top of the skeleton? Wait, oh, one shot one. Oh, you have to use it. Just use an axe. If you use an axe, it only targets the person you're aiming at. All right, now we actually have to pen them up. Get them inside a pen so they don't like die. I can't move. Yo, there's another skeleton or something. I can't move. Yeah. Yeah, I can't move. I can't ride these guys right now. I don't know what's going on. Saddle. 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 Oh, you need a saddle. Yeah, go grab the. I'm, I'm gonna have to yoink one from my actual right, horse. Go, go grab the leashes, go grab bro. Them, honestly, so. bro, I'm too lazy. Sheesh. Yes, sir. Nah, no way, bro. Move him into like a safe place where he can't die because last time I don't know how, but oh no, because the thing was open. The, yeah. the pen was open. That's how Prob's skeleton horse died, right? Yeah. yeah. One last thing before we get ready to go fight the Ender Dragon, I'm just gonna grab a Diamond Sword real quick. This is probably gonna be useful against him. I'm also gonna go enchant it too, because Bane of Arthropods is not gonna do anything. And after a couple of tries, oh my goodness, we got Sharpness 4, Unbreaking 3, and Fire Aspect 2. What a W of a sword. What else do we really need? I guess Sharpness 5 and Mending. That's about it. A sweeping Edge, maybe? So, on day 69, we decided to start heading off to fight the Ender Dragon. The first time I threw Bruh. out the pearl, it broke instantly. And for some stupid reason, I decided to throw it out again. I don't know why, I just wanted to try. And, testing my luck, it broke once Bruh. again, two times in a row. I couldn't believe it. Right then and there, we decided to head back, first of all, to get more Eyes of Ender, and also to make boats for us. Because we're probably gonna have to trek across the ocean. So, the gang decided to take a little pit stop because we did find a buried treasure map. The first one of the world. Let's go find out where that thing is. Honestly, this thing was decently far, a little bit further than I expected, so it was kind of a longer pit stop than we anticipated. It was all the way across the stretch of land as well. Oh, this is where it is, bro. I was kind of off, dude. Yeah. It's a look here, bro. Where's the treasure chest, bro? We can Oh, there it is, there it is. Finally, bro. Heart of the wow. Sea, water breathing potion. That's it. 
Exactly. Let's go. Yeah. No, that's fire. That's fire. That's totally worth. 100% worth. 100% worth, worth going off our course, you know. And we pretty much traveled all the way through day 70. Finally, on day 71, our eyes of Ender started stopping and just meeting in one certain point, around this area in this nice forest. We started digging down and we had a little bit of fun with Prov here, nearly killing him. I threw a bunch of sand on his head, but I went down there and ended up saving him anyway. Nobody was harmed in the making of this. We should be okay. Let's continue going down. And soon enough, we all found ourselves getting the eye spy achievement walking into the stronghold. The first thing I actually found was a library and I was delighted because that means I'm never gonna have to make books again. I wanna get as much of these things as possible. Most of the chests I found in the libraries were trash, but I did come across this with Mending, Efficiency 4, and a Power 4 book. This was insane because I don't have efficiency and I only have power through my bow. What an upgrade. Bro, have y'all been- have y'all found the room yet? Uh... <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Die, bro. Did you yeah, jump inside of the thing? What, what are you doing, yeah, bro? Yeah, no, why are you jumping inside, bro? You're so stupid. Alright, you ready for this, boys? I'm just gonna jump in straight away. Three, two, one. Sheesh! Let's go, boys! Alright, so the first thing we're gonna have to do is pillar How up. How do we get down there, bro? Get to one of the pillars. If any Endermen target you, just use water buckets because they can't go in water. So then, like, they kind of are forced to just, like, not attack you, you know? Alright, I think I'm gonna destroy the first one. Hopefully, I don't get knocked back too far. Yes, sir. I got the first one down. There we go. Got another one. I think there's only a couple more left. Uh, I think I almost looked at one of the Endermen. Yeah, let's, I think we just have to shoot the Ender Dragon now. Oh, um, there's a ton of Endermen on me, bro. This is bad. Dude, why is it so dark and blurry in here, bro? I feel like I can barely see him. All right, he's down here. Where's his head? Oh, this is taking. This is doing so much damage to him, bro. Literally one HP. How could how none of us hit him, bro? One time. I got him, I hit him once. There we go. Let's go. Davis got it. No <laughs> way, bro. No way. Okay. okay, let's get all the let's get all the XP. Level 43. Level 43. That's a dub. Bruh. Oh wait, I die. Well, that sucks. I'll hear. Prof, I'll get your stuff for you, and then I'll bring it back to you in the overworld. And at the end, we gathered up the egg, and we'll probably be making a statue or a museum or something for this egg later on. So as soon as we got home, I decided to get building on this idea that I had in mind since the very beginning. Now, if you can guess, I've done this build in all of my hardcore series, including season one and season two. I actually found a Reddit post with this picture a long time ago, and I always thought it was really cool, and I really wanted to implement it in my own world somehow, so all credit goes to him, but it's kind of a tradition, you know, so I think I have to build it in this world as well. And like I mentioned earlier in the video, Optifine 1.19 is currently not out, including Optifabric, which means I cannot use replay mode. But you can still see how I build this thing. I'm going to leave a link to my 400 days in Minecraft hardcore video, as well as a timestamp of when I build it. Because I actually show a building montage of how I completely build the entire statue. It's really simple, so you can follow along really easily. Well, anyway, it was perfect. I was able to finish the statue on day 75 after gathering a couple of materials from the nether fortress, which is perfectly three-fourths of the way there. Now, if you're wondering what the hole underneath that dude's foot is going to be, we're going to be putting the ender dragon head there, but we have not gotten elytras yet. We're going to be doing that very, very soon. Well, guys, that's going to conclude it for part three of the 100 days multiplayer series. Don't forget to come back next week for the finale of the series. I might end up actually releasing it as one whole condensed episode instead of just the fourth episode, like, singularly. I'll put out a poll in the community tab to see what you guys think, and I'll take that into consideration when editing the final video. But anyway, here is today's common shoutout winner. We got Jaden. Congratulations on being selected. Really happy to have you here. And if you want a chance to be in the next video, I'll be selecting a couple funny comments this time instead of just one for the epic finale of the series. Well, with all that out of the way, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next episode.